baby unapologetically so it's whatever that comes with whether that's being modest for you or if it's like us and being out and proud then like do that shit and what does it mean to be a nudist um a nudist is comfortable in her own skin she loves what she has um whether you want to change it love who you are first and a nudist she steps out it doesn't matter about flesh that's what i want to teach people you are so much more than your flesh. You are so much more than this skin. You are light. You are a being. You are a star. Shine it. Shine it. <laughs> yes, and we're going to shine with our fat pussy energy, okay? Naya, get a close-up real quick on the visual. Honestly, she's kind of like the Vil Venus of Villendorf. Like, you know, like that was the first sculpture of a woman and she was a plus size woman she was full figure and she was prehistoric but she was healthy and that's exactly what we wanted to portray with this one are you high right now do you ever get nervous i am high right now i often get nervous but that don't mean are you high right now do you ever get nervous <laughs> are you high right now do you ever get nervous uh no but i am are you high right now? Do you ever get nervous? I don't get nervous, but I'm high. I do get nervous sometimes, you know, but I'm faded. Hell yeah. <laughs> Body Rhythm is a futuristic Afro-Caribbean fusion movement. It's choreography from Afrobeats, hip hop, dance hall, really pretty much a fusion of all styles. Okay, yeah, it's like you had created your own beat, your own, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the movement, the energy, the paddle, like what do you want us to feel from the performance? I want everybody to feel like they're in a, a production show, you know what I mean? Like they're, what they paid for a show, they're sitting down and they're getting all the sound from the speakers and then getting all the lights and the aesthetics. I want everybody to feel the music, everybody to feel the dance, everybody to feel the light. Dedicate this performance to Nip, Neighborhood Nip, um, and dedicate it to y'all too. Let's get it. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Okay, so we know he did a lot for the black community. He taught us a lot about empowering each other, building up the block, just investing. If you had a if you had a chance to talk to Nipsey before he passed away, what would you ask him or what would you say? I guess I would just ask him what does he need the rest of us to do? You know what I mean? Like I guess what does he want as a vision for us? Pretty much. I feel like he gives a lot of hope to people who don't really understand where they want to be in life. 
but I feel like for the young black man, he really was a huge role model because people could see that he was still thugging, obviously, but he was just powerful. He was an intellect and he used his mind with clarity. I would probably ask Nipsey, what was the determining factor that, that caused him to make the change? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we go through things for so long that we think that that's the only way. Now you got Cloudfest coming up, okay? So you give us just a tease with the him dinner. So let us know what do we expect for Cloudfest. Man, Cloudfest is going to be a movie. It's going to have all types of things going on. The stripper tent is going to be an infused restaurant there. So if you want some infused crab legs, it's going to be at Cloudfest. It's going to be live performances. Most of the performers you see today, they're going to be there as well. It's going to be lit as fuck. You, it's going to be an experience, so don't think you're going to see some regular shit. Just stay on your toes.